Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to scrape the largest manufacturing company by revenue on a Wikipedia page. So here's the, the page and I'll post the Wikipedia uh, link in the video description. So here's the table, so let's just take a quick look at the, the, the table that we're going to scrape. And here we have uh, five columns, so we have the, the rank column and company column, industry, revenue, and headquarters. And if we scroll down to the bottom, so we see that there are 145 companies, actually 146, because one of the companies is repeated. Uh, so here's 11, and let's skip 12. Um, but yeah, but I want to do the exercise uh, on my own. I have, I get 146, I think. I'm not sure, sure. But we'll, but we'll see later. So let me open a Python script. And I'm going to start importing the uh, package. So I'm going to import the uh, beautiful soup class. And source the requests class. Oops. And here I'm also going to import the uh, pandas package. So here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a URL variable. And here I'm going to uh, create the response. Oops. And of course, I will create the soup variable as well. So from the beautiful soup method. And I'll pass the response text. Here we're going to use the html.parser method. And if I just do a quick print. Oops, uh, request is, oh, it's a typo. Okay, let me try again. So we get the uh, html uh, markup back. Okay, and so if we just, uh, I'm using Firefox by the way. And so if I just uh, highlight the, the element and right click, so I'm going to inspect the element. And so by looking at just the uh, the markup and we see that, should me go the window. If I just uh, hover the mouse to the markup, it's going to highlight the, the session that uh, this, uh, the element is associated to. And if I hover my mouse to the uh, table class, we can table football, uh, plain row heads uh, class, and we see that the entire table is highlighted. And so I'm going to, uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slice the, the markup layer by layer. Yeah, I know that all the company's information is uh, stored in this uh, table class. And now if I go to uh, debugger, <clears throat> and here's the, the, the actual HTML markup. And I'm going to do a search. Oh, it's right here actually. Unfortunately, I can't um, make the sound, the fonts bigger maybe, okay. Let me see if I can make the, the font size bigger. I know it's hard to see. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, I'll figure out later. But so here's the class name. So I'm going to copy paste the class name, the table class name actually. And here I'm going to create the table uh, variable. And I'm using the uh, the soup that found method. And based on the table, I want to find that class. And I, if I uh, take a look again, and so here's the the, the table information. So uh, and we see that the table information is uh, stored within the T body tag. And so here I'm going to uh, use that T body, and to return just the the uh, the table information. Now if I do a print table, oops. Oh, mm, oops. 
should be outside, not inside. Oh, should be inside, not outside. Yeah, should be inside, not outside. <clears throat> and so if I do a print table, and so let me scroll up to the to the top, and we get the the T body uh, elements uh, uh, mockups. And for, so if we just take a quick look, so we get the so the the first five uh, TH tag, which is the the row tag, and has the the columns uh, header name, so number, company, industries, revenue, and headquarters. And followed by you now just the uh, the row information. So rank number one, and here's the company name, and industry revenue number, <clears throat> and as well as the uh the country. So here's the the country tax. <clears throat> and also, I should me uh go back. So. I want to show you something. So for uh, in Wikipedia, and when they populate the table, and they use a uh, uh, technical row span. So basically, that out of fails. So if two companies are within the same industry, then they're going to use this uh, row span uh, tag or elements to auto populate the uh, the next company industry. <clears throat> Because of the row span uh, elements techniques that they use, and so we have to uh, do something later on in the uh, Python script. So let me go back to the script. And here I'm going to remove the, the print uh, function. And I'm going to find all the rows first. So here uh, I'm going to find all the, the TR tag. And here I'm also going to uh, grab the column name. So here uh, the column name is waiting the, the first uh, the first row. So here we can use uh, rows the first row and from all the th tag. And so for V in all the th tag in row one. And I want to grab the one quick. Basically, I'm creating a column list. And I want to grab the text. So let's just do a quick print. Of the column variable. And here's the the column's name. So I want to, as you can see that the column each column uh, name comes with the the line feed. And to remove the line feeds. I'm going to uh, replace the line fee tag with just an uh, empty string. Okay, now that looks much better. And here I'm creating the uh, panda data frames uh, variable. And here I'm, I'm going to assign the uh, columns with the columns variable. Now we can uh, go ahead and populate the uh, company's contents in the data frame. So for I in range, we're going to skip the first row. So for I range to uh, the last row number. And we're going to uh, grab all the TDs tag from that row. Remember before I talk about the row span uh, element to autofill the next company's industry name. And I noticed that if the if a uh, if a row's uh, element is using the row span, then it only contains uh, four TD tags. Otherwise, it will contains uh, five TD tags. So here I'm going to uh, create a condition. So if length uh, TDs is equals to four. And here I'm going to create my uh, values variable. And here I'm going to basically mainly assign column values. So that text and TDs one dot text. And here for the uh, industry, 
industry column. So I'm going to leave that as empty. And here's the <clears throat> and here's the one, two, three, uh, zero, one. Okay, it's this. So this one is the the revenue. So let's take a quick look of the uh, values variable. Now if I just do uh, TD is, oops, I get a um, rows 95. Oh, should be rows. Okay, let me try again. Hmm, values 95. Oh, yeah, because the first one is the, uh, the first one has uh, four tags. Uh, hold on, sorry. Uh, else, and, we, and here we can uh, basically uh, generate the the text user loop. So, let me do this for TD and TDs and TD text. And here I'm only going to print the, the first values. And so here's the, the first uh, number one company. And so if we look at the uh, the country column, and we could we get the uh, line feeds and this uh, uh, backward slash xa uh, tag. And so we want to remove those. So to remove those, and I'm going to use the replace function. So first I'm going to remove the line feed uh, tag and followed by, by the uh, backward slash XA0 with uh, empty space. And we'll do the same for the other one as well. So here we need to do it twice. Now, if we just uh, if I print the the variable again, oops. Uh, oh, I see. So here I forgot the close parenthesis. Mm. And here's the extra. Okay. Now, if we uh, so if I reprint the variable, it will get actually the proper uh string back, and that's what we want. And now we know this is working, so now let me go back. And so I can just basically append the uh, the rows uh, values into the data frame variable. So append. And here I'm going to use the uh, pandas package from the package. This is a series function. Here I'm going to uh, assign the values. And as well as the, uh, for the index will be the column. So from the columns. Is from the uh, columns available. And here for the uh, ignore index, I'm going to set to two. And lastly, I'm going to print the data frame. All right, so here's the result. So it looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, single point nine. And yeah, so everything looks pretty clean. And now I want to save this into a CFC file. So to, uh, to, and to do that, I can just do df to CSV. And here I'm going to uh, grab my folder path. And here for my uh, file name. Um, I'll name these um, manufacturer co companies. I'm going to say manufacturer top 10 dot CSV. And for the index, it's going to be false. <clears throat> and now if I just run the entire script, it's running, it's okay, now it's finished. 
and with my script uh, top tens companies csv oh the <clears throat> so i forgot the uh the backward slash should be here okay let me try again so let me say we're around the script again Now, if I open my folder and here's the, the file, and let me open my file real quick. Now, if we just take a quick look at the Excel file, and so this is the one I want to show you. So, for rank um, 63, and now if I go back to the Wikipedia page. In here, you see that um, for rank 62, uh, Hyundai Heavy Industries, and the industry uh, name is the same. So, therefore, for the next available company that is within the same industry, and in Wikipedia, they're going to leave this as blank. And use the, the row span uh, techniques to autofill the, the, the industry name. So, this is everything I want to show you guys in this video. Very simple web scrapping exercise and if you like my video please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and see you guys soon bye bye